So I've covered several audio solutions on this channel, from the Wave XLR to Voice Meter Banana and Potato, as well as the wonderful new one that just came out, Steel Series Sonar, which all of those are still great options. Wave XLR obviously requires hardware, but today we're talking about a specific plugin for OBS that is going to do everything that you need with ease, not having to set up any other software, but just going ahead and plugging it into your OBS. Being able to have full control of your Spotify, your Discord party, your game, and everything separate with its own volume slider inside OBS. I know that sounds awesome, but let's talk about how you can install that right now. Oh, and by the way, Chad, this isn't in Streamlabs or Twitch Studio. It's only for OBS. OBS, just only OBS. So no hesitation, let's jump right into it. This is the plugin you need to get. The link for it is in the description. It's called Win Capture Audio, and it's on a beta version right now, and you can just Google this if you would like. All you need to do is go to this website and click Go to Download, and it's gonna take you to their GitHub page. And at the bottom, see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see, at the bottom you're gonna see their GitHub, they have a .exe file. Now, those of you who are Mac users or those of you who are actual Linux users, I only see this as a Windows option. So just as an FYI, if you're on those other platforms, maybe check out Voice Meter or some of the other solutions that I have. I'll link the other tutorials in the description. What you'll do is go ahead and click this link and install this plugin just like any other plugin. Make sure it goes into your OBS Studio folder wherever that's installed on your computer. Just a side note, make sure you have OBS closed before you install that plugin. But once you open it up, you should be able to actually add a new source. And at the top of it, you're going to see application audio output capture. If you see this, you install the plugin correctly. If not, try it again. Again, make sure that you've actually selected your OBS folder install. It should be under program files, not the x86 version. Now let me show you how to set up this plugin and how to actually put it into nested scenes so that you only have to do this one time. But first, let me tell you about our sponsor for today's video. On.TV is the place to pick up all of your overlay graphics, things from avatars, anything you want for your emotes, badges, anything that's going to go on your stream and it's considered a graphic or an overlay or is interactable with your chat, own.tv has it. Right now, if you use my coupon code Cyrus at checkout, you're gonna get 50% off your order. Do like many other people in this community and upgrade your stream with own.tv. So once you click the application audio output capture, it's gonna go ahead and ask you to give it a name. Right now, we're just gonna make a dummy one and just so that you can show you around. We're just gonna go ahead and click OK. And what you're gonna see right here is it's gonna have mode, capture audio sessions from a selection of executables or capture foreground window with a hotkey. Personally, the hotkey thing is great, but if you've ever used OBS, hotkeys aren't always 100% reliable. So the executables is probably your best way to go. So what you'll do is under here, you can just go ahead and click uh, either add and find the executable, or you can actually click under session here and find the things that are currently already active on your computer. So you can go ahead and load your game and choose it. Or in this case, I'm gonna choose Spotify and I can click add executable. And now it knows that anything that comes from a Spotify is gonna have its own audio slider under the audio mixer. So what you're seeing on the screen is I'm actually playing Stream Beats. If you don't know what Stream Beats is, it's DMCA free music from Harris Heller and Alpha Gaming. And what you can see is I've actually renamed that original application capture audio device to Spotify just so that you can easily see it. And you can see right here that it's actually monitoring and I'm gonna turn this up. Obviously it's gonna get loud right now. And you can see that monitoring up there, it is actually getting louder and increasing in volume, but it's not anywhere else like in my Wave software or my mic completely separate. So now that we know how to capture this, let me show you how you can make this so much easier for yourself and how you only have to set this up one time. In OBS, you can do these things called nested scenes where you actually create a scene with a whole bunch of things and then you can actually in other scenes add that scene in so you only have to adjust things one time or anything you want to adjust from that original scene, you can just go adjust it. So let me show you how to do that. So to do a nested scene under your scenes, you need to go ahead and make a new scene. And I'm actually gonna call this uh, Win Audio Split, just so that I know what it is. And this is gonna create a whole new set of sources and scenes. So what I'm gonna do is on the right side, I'm now going to go ahead and do what I did before. We're gonna create one called Spotify. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and capture that Spotify as we did before, click add executable and hit okay. So let's go ahead and add another one. This time we're gonna do one for Discord. We're gonna name this one Discord. And then again, under the session, you can actually choose if you have it currently active and it's open right now, like Discord is for me. I can put add executable and hit okay. And now I've got another fader for Discord. And you can continue to add this, boot your game, add the executable, etc. And this might take some upfront loading time, but this is a really good way to separate this stuff out. So now that you've made this scene, we're gonna take what's in this scene, the sources, and we're gonna nest it by going to another scene. We're gonna call this one our cam three. Actually, if we'll go ahead and click this one right here, you'll be able to see like there's basically what pops up. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button and then I can choose scene from this list. And from here, I can actually choose the one that says when audio split. And when I do, you'll see under the audio mixer, Discord and Spotify have picked up. And so if I ever wanted to go back and add anything, I just have to go back to that original scene, add more, and they will automatically be added to wherever you've added that nested scene to. They are fantastic. And honestly, if you're not using nested scenes, this solves so many problems. I would highly recommend you go and do nested scenes for stuff like this. If you've gotten value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit it with a thumbs up so that more people could see this video. And that pretty much wraps this up. If you wanna see another amazing OBS plugin, I recommend you check out this video right here that makes the entire overlay experience so much easier and gives you 400 options for overlays. It's owned pro and I guarantee you're gonna love it. Check that video out and I'll see you over there.